This is going to be the superior vena cava, the superior vena cava. Now the, uh, the right and left brachiocephalic veins, both are going to come together to drain into that superior vena cava. And the superior vena cava drains into the right atrium of the heart. As we go a little bit further out, we see that there's another vein here. If you look very closely, um, you see the same vein on the other side, which is right here. You only see just the very stump of it, though, on the other side. Um, so this is the internal jugular vein, the internal jugular vein. And its partner does exist on the other side. It's just difficult to see in this model. This is a very small portion here of the external jugular vein, the external jugular vein. So the internal jugular vein is going to empty into, um, it actually is going to um, join with the subclavian vein to become the brachiocephalic vein. So it actually joins with uh, the subclavian to become the brachiocephalic. Okay. So the external jugular vein is going to uh, is going to drain into the uh, subclavian vein. <clears throat> the vertebral veins and the vertebral arteries are not viewable in this model. Um, they're actually deeper in the body. That's one of the reasons why you usually don't see it in this model. <clears throat> 